tonight we're going to be practicing long division with problems containing three digit by one digit numbers. As always, we have our standard and our learning scale, which brings us to our learning goal, where we hope to be able to find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using the following strategies, equations, rectangular arrays, and area models. really important that we remember the steps when we are doing long division. First we divide, then we multiply, then we subtract, then we bring down, and we repeat until we get the quotient that we're looking for. Let's try one together. Remember that it's important that we rewrite um, the problem so that we can probably solve it using the fourth grade way. We're going to start by dividing. We're going to try and see how many times three can go into five without going over. 3 can go into 5 one time without going over. We then multiply these two numbers. 3 times 1 is 3. We subtract, giving us 2. And we bring down the number next to the one we were just working with, leaving us with 24. We then ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 24? 3 can go into 24 8 times. We're going to again multiply those two numbers that we just got leaving us with 24, we subtract, we get zero. Even though we have a zero, we can't forget about this number up here. We still have to bring him down and repeat our steps. How many times can three go into three? Once. We multiply those numbers. Three times one is three. We subtract them, we get zero. I have nothing left to bring down, so we are left with our quotient of 181. Let's try one more together. 295 divided by 5. Again, we need to rewrite this problem. All right, our first step is to divide. How many times can 5 go into 2? 0. 5 is a bigger number than 2, but we're still going to repeat our steps. 5 times 0 is 0. When we subtract 0 from 2, we're left with 2. We bring down the number right next to it, which is 9. How many times can 5 go into 29 without going over? We think about our basic facts, and we know that 5 times 5 is 25, which is as close to 29 as we can get. So again, we need to multiply these two numbers. 5 times 5 is 25. We subtract, leaving us 9 minus 5 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. We then need to bring down our last number, which is 5, and repeat your steps. How many times can 5 go into 45? We know that basic fact that 5 can go into 45 9 times. We need to make sure though, so we're going to multiply 5 times 9, 45. We subtract, we get 0, we have nothing left to bring down. So we know that we have a quotient of 59. You're going to try this one on your own, 321 divided by 3, as well as this one. 426 divided by 6. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.